Building a startup is a journey. You have limited resources and have to manage the delicate balance of building quickly while keeping costs under control, building infrastructure and internal tools, and properly managing your team's time. Whether you're building a multiplayer game or a global e-commerce platform, an important choice that every startup needs to make is choosing the right cloud provider. In this video, we'll share why Google Cloud is a great option for startups across four primary dimensions, speed, intelligence, savings, and partnerships. We'll meet with members of the customer engineering team and startup success team to show you why top startups choose Google Cloud. Pillar one, let's start with the first pillar, speed. The ability to go from code to production quickly is critical to startup growth. Hi, I'm Anthony Bouchon, a developer advocate here at Google Cloud. One of the ways startups build faster is with microservices and container architecture. Containers, as many of you likely know, are used widely across many different sectors and are even used here heavily at Google today. Google Kubernetes Engine, or GKE for short, provides a seamless solution for managing your containers at scale. GKE provides a single place to interact with all of your containers, either manually through a UI or programmatically through the command line interface. It not only helps you with that, but also manages your DNS, networking, load balancing, and traffic management all in a single place. Managing your containers has never been easier, and our startups are surprised every day at how easy it is to scale, manage, and save even at a global level. For example, if a customer needed to spin up remote workstations to power GPU accelerated processing for 3D imaging, they could use GKE to seamlessly auto-scale the workstations up and down for their customers' needs. Some startups tend to prefer more abstracted serverless architecture. Does Google Cloud support serverless architecture? Yes. Startups need to move quickly and adjust to rapidly changing product requirements and user demand. Serverless architecture enables this at all levels, so let's quickly dive into these. Google Cloud offers a variety of different serverless products, ranging from data management solutions to compute and more. But with that, serverless can come in many different shapes and sizes and should be carefully selected based on your startup's specific requirements. What requirements, you may ask? In most cases, it will be chosen based on a set of technical requirements needed to achieve your end result. For example, if containers are needed, you may choose Cloud Run over Cloud Functions, as Cloud Run gives you the ability to build and use your own containers and still deploy quickly. I would highly suggest taking a look at all our serverless offerings, though, if you have a chance. I've found startups to use them heavily to give the team more time to focus on building features for their startup and not managing their cloud infrastructure. Are there any other ways Google Cloud empowers startups to innovate quickly and easily? Yes. DevOps is something most startups overlook initially, but is an integral part in the success of your company. As we all know, engineering time is valuable, but with DevOps, we can help direct that attention to building and not maintaining. Google Cloud offers a ton of resources and products to help automated deployments, testing, and more. Depending on your startup's need, you may be fine with connecting a single trigger to a build and deploy new commits, while others may automate the entire process of testing, building, and deploying to production through the use of cloud triggers, cloud build, and cloud run for a seamless end-to-end -end deployment. By using cloud run, you are able to easily trigger new version deploys or roll back and even split traffic for A-B testing. Let's move on to the second pillar, intelligence. Startups need to be able to easily aggregate data and then turn data into real-time insights. Using these real-time insights can help your startup unlock powerful information to improve decision-making. Hi, I'm Allison Corner. I'm a customer engineer here at Google. If there's one thing Google is known for, it's data. I've had many startups worry that Google Cloud won't be able to manage the quantity of data that they have, but I've never seen that be a limitation for any of my customers, as long as they're using the right tools. This massive ability to scale makes it a great platform for customers who want to turn their data into insights to grow their business. What Google Cloud tools are available to help customers manage their database at scale? This is a very common question that customers ask. Many customers run into issues managing databases at scale, which is why they choose to use some of our managed database tools. Customers would rather allocate time to build their product instead of dedicating time to manage a complex database. 
Fortunately, we have many databases that allow customers to save time and focus on building their core product. We have database offerings such as Cloud SQL, BigQuery, Cloud Spanner, Firestore, Bigtable, etc. Let's look at the database Cloud Spanner. Cloud Spanner is one of Google Cloud's fully managed relational databases. It's built to manage large amounts of data and it has massive scale, seamless replication across regions in Google Cloud strong external consistency, and processes over 1 billion requests per second at peak. Cloud Spanner and all of these databases I've mentioned earlier were developed with customers in mind. They allow engineers to focus on the product instead of managing the tools the product runs on, so they're able to make more progress much faster. Now that we understand the tools that allow startup customers to manage their database at scale, what tools are available to help customers unlock insights? One tool the customers I work with really enjoy using is BigQuery. If you're familiar with BigQuery, it's a serverless, highly scalable, and cost-effective multi-cloud data warehouse designed for business agility. Customers use BigQuery for their analytic workloads and to glean insights from their data. If a customer is using both BigQuery and Spanner, they also get to take advantage of how seamlessly these products work together. Both tools share a lot of the same underlying infrastructure, which allows customers to execute transactional and analytic workloads easily and manage high throughput needs. Does Google Cloud have tools that allow startups to increase innovation with machine learning? Yes, so Google Cloud does have various offerings in the AI ML space. We have tools like AutoML and BigQuery ML to help startups innovate faster with AI expertise. What's also really helpful to startups is that these AI ML offerings are built in a way to allow people who aren't ML experts to build ML models or use pre-trained models to benefit their business. This means that startups that otherwise would not have been able to afford a data engineer can create their own models using basic SQL or coding skills. This gives them a leg up and helps level the playing field when it comes to competing against larger companies in their space. For example, I've seen many startups benefit from using Recommendations API to provide personalized recommendations that suit each customer's tastes and preferences. Instead of having to build their own ML model, these startups are able to benefit from Google's experience and expertise in the area and use a simple API to improve customer experience. Startups also benefit from using Vertex AI, which they can use to train their own custom models. Thanks, Allison, for sharing all of that great insight. Key aspect of startup growth is the ability to save money when building on or migrating to cloud native architecture. Cloud is often the biggest expense for a startup and to operate efficiently, they need to optimize spending with cost management tools. Cost savings is a pillar that Google Cloud excels in. Hi, I'm Kayla Gore, a Google customer engineer. I'll share how choosing Google Cloud can help your startup save money. One of the ways Google Cloud helps startups save money is providing automatic scale up and down tools depending on traffic and growth. This helps to reduce the risk of overpayment for over-provisioned resources. For example, based on the needs of your workloads, Google Kubernetes Engine Cluster Autoscaler dynamically resizes the number of nodes in a specific node pool. You can autoscale deployments based on pod CPU utilization, and GCP also supports scaling deployments based on custom metrics exported from Google Cloud Monitoring. Startups are often working with a very limited budget. Does Google Cloud provide cost transparency or cost optimization? One of Google Cloud's strengths is cost transparency. Google Cloud offers a comprehensive collection of free billing and cost management tools that can provide you with the visibility and data you need to manage your cloud deployments as well as documentation and tutorials to help you understand how much things cost. Because once you understand the cost of a tool, you can put controls in place to minimize your expenditure. For example, let's take the product BigQuery to show the different ways customers have access to cost transparency and cost savings. Customers who use BigQuery can create dashboards to view their billing data, which allows them to subsequently make adjustments to their BigQuery usage. Customers can also consider streaming audit logs to BigQuery to analyze usage patterns. BigQuery billing data can be exported into visualization tools like Cloud Data Studio. Finally, BigQuery customers also have access to BigQuery Flex slots, 
Flex swaps are a way to purchase BigQuery analytics capacity for short durations, as little as 60 seconds at a time. Flex slots let you quickly respond to rapid demand for analytics and prepare for business events such as retail holidays and app launches. This can lead to major cost savings for customers. Are there any other ways startups can save money with Google Cloud? Yes, so Google Cloud also offers pricing efficiency features, including things like sustained use discounts, committed use discounts, flat rate pricing, per second billing, and other volume discounting tools that allow you to optimize charges for a given service. A startup I worked with was looking for ways to save money, so I advised them to use the Idle VM Recommender, which monitors utilization metrics to identify inactive virtual machines and persistent disks. The customer was able to save money by deleting idle instances from a proof of concept that were no longer needed. Thanks, Kayla, for sharing how startups can save money by choosing Google Cloud. The final pillar is partnership. This is another area where Google Cloud excels in. Knowing your startup will be supported through your journey using Google Cloud allows founders to know that Google Cloud is committed to their success. Google Cloud has an entire team dedicated to helping startups. This is called the Startup Success Team. Hi, I'm Jeremy Massey, a Startup Success Manager here at Google Cloud. Our Startup Success Team is passionate about helping startups thrive. We're fully dedicated to meeting founders and their teams at whatever stage of the startup journey they're on and providing holistic support for our customers as they grow. Could you give us an example of how the Startup Success Team supports startup customers? We support customers by establishing a one-on-one -on -one relationship with founders that come through our Google for Startups Cloud program. In this program, startups get access to dedicated experts, cloud credits for two years, up to $100,000 each year, and guidance from Google engineers. All of these resources are meant to help startups build a thriving and sustainable business. In the Google for Startups Cloud program, the Startup Success team spends time to understand our customers' unique goals, roadmap, and timeline. After understanding what will have the most impact for their business, we work with them to find the best ways to put their Google Cloud credits to use. Could you share a customer story and how you help the customer decide the best way to use their credits for Google Cloud? I recently met with an early stage environmental science startup who's currently planning how to build and deploy their application on Google Cloud. Through a few conversations, our team was able to help them develop their initial architecture and identified the Google Cloud IoT Core, Cloud PubSub, and Cloud Functions to be a great way for them to use their Google Cloud credits. They're now able to easily and securely connect, manage, and ingest data from their globally dispersed devices. How else does the Startup Success Team help customers? We support customers by partnering with our customer engineering team to hold technical discoveries, architecture reviews, and provide interactive technical workshops. Our customer engineering team recently led an interactive session on Google Cloud's AI and ML capabilities to a group of startups currently participating in the Google Cloud for Startups Black Founders Fund. Startups really value this expert mentoring and technical training, which also allows them to upskill their own teams. Having access to these discussions must be very helpful to startups. Are there any final ways the SSM team supports startups? We provide ongoing support and partnerships to startups as they grow. We understand that startups have evolving needs and we're committed to helping founders build a sustainable and successful business over the long term. I recently worked with a startup focused on big data who was ready to do a full migration from another cloud provider, and they were looking for third-party assistance. I was able to connect them to one of the partners in our network specializing in migrations to ensure they had the full support and additional expertise to facilitate their migration. This sounds like such a great program for startups. How can startups get in touch with a startup success manager? So if you're interested in getting access to the startup success team and participating in the Google for Startups Cloud program, please visit cloud.google.com startup. And there you'll be able to find more information about the program. Thanks, Jeremy, for sharing your insight. There you have it. We've shown you how Google Cloud can be an amazing resource for your startup on four core pillars of speed, intelligence, savings, and partnerships. To learn more about the information provided in this video, please visit cloud.google.com startup. 
If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.